Good morning, Bethel, and to our visitors, we are so glad you are a part of the Bethel experience. First Father's Day, it is right around the corner, and we want our celebration here at Bethel to truly honor them and all they do. That's why we want to see at least 100 men in the choir loft that Sunday. The men's choir for Father's Day has been rehearsing on Mondays in the historic sanctuary from 7 to 8.15 p.m. And you can still be a part of it. Just see Meacham Clark today to get your music, your CD, and your lyrics. This year the theme is Deep Sea Discovery. We are diving deeper into God's Word to share with our children and we really need your support. If you can help, sign up today with a representative at the Oasis check-in point. Oasis is also having their annual book drive to make sure our students are reading this summer. You can help out by donating gently used or new books for preschool and middle school age kids to the church. The collection boxes are at the Oasis check-in point and all the books will go to kids here at Bethel and in the community. June is also Men's Health Month. Did you know that the CDC has found that heart disease and cancer are the leading causes of death for men today? That's why it's really so important to go get a checkup. It could change and maybe even save your life. My name is James Daniels. I'm a prostate cancer survivor. I'm one of those guys that goes to the doctor all the time. So I was keeping up with my health. It was a period of time before they really detected anything, but when they did, I was in good shape. I was in a very good position where it did not really affect me that bad. I mean, I was very grateful because of the fact that there's so many men die from prostate cancer because they don't go and get treated. They don't go get tested. Because most men, if you think about it, that's your family. Whether you got a wife and children or whatever, if something happened to you, they're lost you've left them without you. To go through a prostate cancer test is very simple. And I mean, you go to the bathroom, so if you go to the bathroom, you can go do the test. So don't worry about thinking that you're gonna lose your sexuality. Don't worry about being macho, go get tested. The life you save is your own. June is also the time we celebrate all that Bethel is for homecoming. And so you may have done homecoming at your high school, maybe you did it at your college, but there is nothing like a Bethel homecoming. Take it from someone who knows. My name is Shavella Richardson and I've been at Bethel for 42 years. The first uh, memory I have of homecoming, uh, we used to have it down at Little Talbot Allen. Yeah, I remember that. So it was a situation where you, you brought your own food, you brought your own picnic, and they provided the watermelon and crabs. So that, that was awfully fun. Um, we played a lot on the beach. Uh, we, of course, had our board games, and we played cards and had a real good time. It was really like a, a family environment. It was. I'm looking forward to, of course, reconnecting with a lot of friends that I've met over the 42 years. So that's really most what I'm looking forward to, uh, seeing some of the older members who have gone and moved away and they've come back or maybe even gone to other churches. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Bethel's homecoming is the weekend of June 25th. There will be one homecoming service on Sunday, June 26th at 9.15 in the morning before we head outside to eat, hang out, and just have a good time. But on the Saturday before, we will all be here at Bethel, laced up and ready for the Judy Lawson Walkathon. All the proceeds go to help students here at Bethel pay for college, and it's even more special because of the woman and longtime member of Bethel it's named after. Judy Lawson is the reason why I'm at Bethel. Uh, we moved here from Miami, and she is my neighbor, and she introduced me to this church. Judy was very com compassionate about Bethel and about children and about just helping others, uh, very selfless. So I participated in the walkathon, and I'm honored that it is still in her name. It is such a great um, event to help youth further their education, and Judy was all about that. She was all about helping the young people further their education. Our hope is that everyone shows up and come and walk and participate and give so you can help our young people um, make a mark in this world. The Judy Lawson Walkathon starts at 8 a.m. on Saturday, June 25th here at Bethel. You can sign up in the vestibule or in the church office. We love having you here. The Bethel Church comes together on Sunday mornings at 8 and 10.30 and Wednesdays at noon and 6.45 p.m. 
but it is about so much more than what goes on within these walls. Make sure you take the Bethel experience with you wherever you go. Have a blessed week.